sorry, Fizz. He uh, wants to keep smashing. Alright, so Mouth Weaver in general having a pretty good run today, and kind of curious if he's learned and or like if he learned anything from playing against LSDX's Falcon in that last game of his set there. In. Looked away for a second. I assume I was probably off the eye on Chris's part. That seemed pretty weirdly far. not managing to hold ledge long enough to get the tether punish. But it doesn't matter, he manages to pick up the punish out of the corner anyway. expected that edge guard to go. that he needed there. Despite an early lead, yeah, and that's now last stock, and that's basically Chris's home turf, so. And he's got solar beam, so I definitely can't count him out at all. Yeah, Randy Knee from across the stage, will, that'll do it to you. Oh, is he switching? I didn't know that Mouth Fever had other characters. Mock, yeah, Travis is the Ivy. Connor, no. Edna is just the name of the specific Ivysaur in PM. Like, name of Strong Bad's Ivysaur that he did never evolved when he was a kid was named Edna. And so, in honor of that, the Ivysaur in PM is also named Edna. Mao didn't name his Ivy uh, Edna. Strong Bad did. That's why the Pro Project M Ivy Sore is named Edna. That's like Project M canon. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, Strong Bad didn't uh, really like his Ivysaur very much. That's why he never evolved him into a uh, uh, Venusaur. That would have been a free knee, but uh, obviously Chris wants the double dip. Actually, I'm wondering if we'll see a switch to Wolf from Chris here, because he has been playing some Wolfers, and I know that in his set against Hat Roy, he's sticking with Falcon. Reasonable enough. Okay, yeah. Chris is definitely just like trying to be, go for sick shit now because that stop totally could have been a knee if you wanted it to be. Which, like, you know, more power to him. We gotta have highlights somehow. Oh, damn. Ah. Oh. Unfortunate that he missed that read. I suppose I can't imagine this matchup is good to begin with, but yeah, this is looking about as it's not looking very good for him. Looking about as hopeless as he did against LSD. Maybe a little bit more in some respects, honestly. Yeah, maybe I'm not really sure what Ivysaur should be doing in this situation other than just, like, obviously hitting harder. Because, like, clearly anytime Falcon starts hitting Ivy, he's gonna be hitting her. But then doing that, yeah. Oh, that's just, yeah. Yeah, that'll happen. I can quickly move on to loser semis. To very few people's surprise.